try again. Hey, welcome to a Knuckles Nerd video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you something which was requested on my website quite a few months ago now, um, which, which I haven't got round to doing a video on yet, so I thought I'll do it today. Uh, it was requested by someone called Kyle, and it says, Hey, can you please make a video on how to rip DVDs for free? Thanks, Kyle. So, um, what I'm going to show you is how to do it on Windows and Mac. This program is available for Windows and Mac. What you need is VLC player that just bypasses the security certificate on the DVD. And then you need this program called Handbrake. There will be a link in the description to download both of them. So, um, before you open Handbrake, sorry, you need to put your DVD into your Mac or PC. I've just got uh, a Simpsons DVD at the moment. Oh, damn, I dropped it on it. I've got a Simpsons DVD with quite a few Simpsons episodes on it. Uh, if you put a movie into uh, your DVD player, then open Handbrake, uh, it should automatically select uh, the movie for you because that will be the longest time. But if it's episodes, one minute, let me just edit it, DVD player, you'll have to select the episode you want. So um, it looks like on this, it will be the ones that end in VOB. So um, I'll just select a random one. Then it just like sorts itself out like it scans you see it says it's scanning title um, at the moment it does a load of routine checks before you can actually get into ripping it it shouldn't take too long there you go it's now selected it um, that, that's telling you how long it is it's going to rip so that's 22 minutes 8 seconds so that's going to be one of the Simpsons episodes um, it's got 6 chapters in the episode uh, destination that's where you want to save it so I'm just going to go ahead and keep it as desktop and the format you want to export it as as you can see at the moment it's M4V or MP4 um, you can have it as AVI as well I'll keep it as uh, MP4 because that's the best quality that um, it, can, it can get outputted as. You can select whether you want it to get put on, say you're going to put it on your website, you can have it optimised for your website. If you want it for just great quality, you can have it large file size. If you want to put it on an iPod, select iPod. Down here you've got your um, extra settings you want to do. There you go, you've got the video codec which you can run it through. Uh, what the frame rate is, I keep it as the same as source because if you don't, especially if you put it down to five, well then that'll be really, really laggy. The episode will be dead jerky, so just keep it the same as source. There's no point going to something which is probably over than the video is because that'll just make the file size a lot bigger and make no um, quality difference. So I've just kept them the same. Audio subtitles, if you want to extract the subtitles as well as the video, Feel free to do that. I'm not going to do that. Chapters, if you only want to select a certain part in the film or TV episode, whatever it is you want to rip and advanced. Well, there you go. Um, so once you've set everything you want, you um, just click start. Let me just pend it for a few seconds. Right, then you can click activity window to see um, what it's actually doing at that moment in time. If you're in Windows, it'll bring this up in CMD. If you're on a Mac, it'll bring it up in Terminal, as you can see. But then at the bottom, it's got like a little status bar of how long it's done. Um, to rip the actual um, movie off the DVD, it doesn't actually take that long. As you can see, it's doing it pretty quickly at the moment. Uh, but it actually ends up converting it after you've had um, after you've ripped it, it ends up converting the file and rendering it and stuff like that for the desired settings that you've chosen um, in this bit down here and that actually does take longer than it does to rip so say it takes half an hour to rip um, it will probably take about 45 minutes to render so that will leave you about an hour and a half to do it in that's the full movie, about an hour and a half 
this is just a 20 minute clip so it'll probably only take about I don't know 45 minutes to do so I'll pause the video now and I'll come back to you when it's finished okay so it's uh, now just finished uh, ripping the actual DVD now it's just doing the rendering and stuff like that so it's going to take about another three minutes to do that so I'll come back when that's finished Alright, so it's almost finished rendering now, you see it's got like 25 seconds left. Um, another thing I forgot to mention is that this little pull-out panel thing here, this is all different like um, settings, preset settings you can have. Like there's all the different Apple um, output settings you can have, like for Apple TV or iPod or anything like that. Um, then there's basic normal, which is what I had on before. There's high profile like film, television, they'll be like your HD um, output settings and there's gaming consoles. So say you want to put it onto your Xbox, PS3, PS3, it can just extract it using those preset settings. As you can now says here, it says put down the cocktail, your handbrake cue is done. So um, we'll just exit out of handbrake. And now down here, this is the Simpsons episode which I extracted. So I've just got a... Uh, Rip, so we'll just click on that. There you go. The quality isn't that good because it is it is an old episode of The Simpsons, as you can see, it's the old outro uh, intro. Sorry. Alright, well, I've just cut that up. But anyway, you can see that episode is now fully working and ripped off the DVD. So remember, I'll have all download links in the video description for Handbrake and VLC. This works on Windows and Mac. So comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching.